Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd. Uh, today, Babylon 5 has an interesting way of presenting itself. We've seen this in episodes of MASH where they have uh, a documentary being done on them, and so we see it from the point of view of the documentarians. In this case, it's Interstellar News Network doing a program called 36 Hours, in which they spend 36 hours on Babylon 5 at a time that turns out to be rather active. They talk to Garibaldi, they talk to Sheridan, they talk to Jakar and Londo and Delenn. And in doing all of this, they also note uh, the skirmish that's happening between Narn and Centauri ships that are close to the station and how the station deals with this, uh, where a blockade is attempted and something that breaks out into all-out fighting. All of this, I think, is kind of interesting just to see uh, what the public might have thought of Babylon 5 at this point. We see something from a senator, from the obviously the government's view kind of reflected in the news network and uh, of the various ways that the ambassadors and Sheridan and Ivanova and Garibaldi try to place themselves within all of this. But really what's interesting in the show is the smallest part of it. Uh, the, uh, the title is, and now a word. And the word is a fake commercial that is part of the story that uh, they drop for a commercial break and then they do a commercial for Psychor. And uh, they start out with, uh, you almost think it's a real commercial because there's a, there's a living room and, and uh, a mother and her son, and the son is having trouble at school. And then a Psychor representative appears in the picture and talks about the wonderful things that happen if you find yourself uh, being feeling unusual from the rest of your people, go to one of the Psychor testing centers. They're everywhere in children's hospitals and schools and even mobile units where you can have your children tested to see if they have any psychic ability. And if they do, they will be taken into Psychor and they will be given jobs and they will have all their bills paid and lead good lives. Or at least that's what they say. And what we see is the propaganda. We've, we've already seen previously in Babylon 5 uh, what the Psychor really is and what it actually does to people. And while there are people like Talia who believes it's a wonderful thing and uh, took her away from other bad things, uh, there are also those who feel that it's kind of a prison. And if you're like Ivanova's mother who was psychic but did not want to join Psychor, uh, their alternative was that uh, she basically be lobotomized. So with that, uh, we see this very positive spin on Psychor and the kid at the end with a big smile on his face saying, I get to be part of the core. And an interesting little thing, it's a one-frame blip. If you uh, stop during... If you stop the recording uh, uh, at the very end of the commercial, there is a one frame blip with a uh, lettering superimposed that says, uh, Psychor is your friend, always trust the core. Now, uh, you know, it's in there just long enough for you to see it but not be able to read it, and it's intended for you to pause the uh, recording and and look at it to show that they're doing everything. The uh, propaganda, also a subliminal message and uh, other things in order to try to justify uh, what they do and to uh, make people believe that it's something that it isn't. Although in the show, they've shown both sides of it. It can be a good thing, but uh, very often uh, it's not. And so uh, that is uh, kind of what this story was about. We, we get a little bit of information on the escalation of the uh, Narn and Centauri conflict. Uh, we find that Babylon 5 is kind of stuck in the middle of it, much to the chagrin of Earth Dome government. And that while 
it's a noble idea to try to set up a station for peace. Uh, peace is not ever going to be something that is easily obtained and not without some cost. So uh, that's uh, what this story is about, and uh, I found it interesting to watch. Uh, they have mentioned ISN before. They have mentioned that, that one of the great things about this show is that uh, humanity hasn't changed a whole lot, really. So you still have kind of a cable news network. You still have uh, a USA Today type of uh, newspaper. You still have money and power and conflict and politics. So um, with all of that, uh, interesting show does not really advance the story so much as tell that little bitty story about Psychor, which will become more significant later on in the series. I'd like to know what you think about it. Please put it in the comments below. We always enjoy reading what you have uh, to tell us and uh, we respond as much as we can. And Tomorrow we will have another episode of Deep Space Nine as a review. Uh, we'll follow that with The Bad Batch, which is getting close to the end on uh, Thursday. And on Friday, we'll have another Star Trek discovery. But until then, uh, until tomorrow when we talk about Deep Space Nine, don't go far.